So after two months, the McLaren is finally back and she's fixed. Let's see if she can start up. Oh, it's so nice not to hear all of the alarms ringing. Hey guys, Leviathan here. So the McLaren, after two months, has finally started with no engine warning lights or alarms beeping at me. If you want to know what was wrong, it's all in this booklet and I'm going to be talking about that in another video. So you might think that my very first step is going to be to go for a drive. That's absolutely what I want to do, but we should first switch to the exterior cab. I know that's a bit of an exaggeration, but there's no way I'm going to be taking this car in that kind of weather. I've winter driven a lot of cars before as well as super bikes, but it's honestly, it just takes the fun out of this whole experience. So today I'm just going to show you what the procedure is like to store a supercar. I usually follow the exact same process for everything, but there's a slight different nuance with the McLaren. And everyone has their own unique procedure. I just go with the most simplest way. Some people like to put their cars on tire racks and things like that, but I'm just gonna keep it simple because it, that's what works and that's just the way I like to do things, keep it simple. So, the first step I do is I put stable in the fuel tank. Because the cars can be sitting for about three or four months, it's just best to put some fuel stabilizer in. The second step I do is I overinflate the tires by 10 psi, just to avoid flat spots. There's some fancy technology out there where people put it on like tire racks and things like that. Step three is something which is really specific to McLaren. When the battery does die out, it's supposed to have just enough juice to drop the window. And that's something that Rob Ferretti can actually attest to because it doesn't always happen and the glass did shatter in his experience. So I'm gonna keep the car charged, obviously, but just in case something happens and someone decides to unplug the McLaren as a joke, because people do that, I'm just gonna drop the window by about a centimeter so I don't have to worry about it. Step four, I'm gonna do a waterless wash just to clean up the car. Then step five, I'm gonna cover the car and finally I'm just gonna attach a trickle charger and keep the car parked. And that's really all there is to it. There's nothing fancy. I hope you enjoyed the season with the McLaren. I had a lot of fun with it. I had a lot of fun making videos for you guys. So I'll see you guys again soon. Until next time. I was looking into darkness.